Hello, welcome back to the list page configuration series, it's Tuzik again. In today's episode of list page properties, we will go through inline edit properties. Inline edit allows us to make a change on a record list page, Ajaxly. There are six properties of inline edit. To enable inline edit on the selected page, click on online edit, click on the select field button, then select true. Now let preview change, click publish button, click preview in browser. Navigate to the page configured, click on any field data. As you can see, an inline edit card pops up, from here we can make changes to this data. The second property of inline edit is Editor field control type This option provides the type of inline edit input, ranging from text to button, radio, select, and more. You can select from any of the options provided, I'm going to choose from edit page option. The third property is use popover display. This allows us to choose a type of inline edit display, by default, the popover display type is set to true. Let's check it out. We can set it to false, and that will give us this effect. The fourth property is placement. Inline edit placement becomes useful when the popover display type is set to true. Click on the placement select field button, select from the list options provided, I'm going to choose the top. Let's publish and preview to see changes. Click on any of the field data, now popover card is placed on the top of the field clicked. We can change to any other form placement options provided. The fourth property is Activate Mode. By default, Inline Edit is activated on a field when we click on the field, but we can change it. Click on Activate Mode Select Field button, I'm going to change it to Mouse Enter, you can choose any option you like. To see the effect, click Publish and then click the Preview button. Now, when we hover on any field data, it triggers Inline Edit, that's nice. Let's go to the last property of Inline Edit which is Show Buttons. Show Buttons property allows us to change the inline edit action button position. By default, it is set to right, but we can change that. Click on Show Buttons select field. Now select any option of your choice. I'm going to choose bottom. Bo let's preview our changes. That's awesome. Now we have learned how to configure inline edit properties. In our next tutorial, we are going to learn how to configure page components. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. For more tutorials like this, don't forget to like and comment below. Thank you.